All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a pretty quick video. Um, we're gonna be going over what is a good click-through rate. So it's a common question I get, especially for new advertisers, um, because you're not really sure, you know, what click-through rate you're trying to strive for, you know, what impact click-through rate has on your ads. So I'm gonna try to go through that here. Um, we're just gonna focus here on Google Ads um, search, Google Ads display, and Facebook ads. So kind of the three biggest places where advertisers spend their money, um, the places where we have the most data. So um, we're going to be sourcing a lot of data from a lot of different websites today. So to get started, click-through rate is the amount of clicks you receive on your ad divided by the number of impressions. So very simple, clicks divided by impressions will give you your click-through rate, which is a percentage. So if you get three clicks for every 100 impressions on your ad, uh, then it's a 3% click-through rate. So pretty simple, very easy to uh, to understand what it is and, and how it kind of works. Uh, so the average click-through rate, um, basically across entirely across the board. So for Google search, the average click-through rate is 1.91%. For Google display, the average click-through rate is 0.35%. And for Facebook ads, the average click-through rate is 0.91%. Um, we source this all from wordstream.com slash click-through rate. Uh, they have a ton of articles on wordstream. It's probably the best source of PPC, um, really everything. So if you're looking for anything to do with Google AdWords, if you're looking for anything to go do with uh, Facebook ads, they have a ton of content, a ton of resources, and they're generally the best in the industry at creating content in my opinion. So um, coming down again from WordStream, so Google AdWords industry benchmarks. So uh, this is where you can kind of see the average is 1.91% across the search network um, and then 0.35% on the display network. Um, this represents different industries, and up top you can see what the search click-through rate is. At the bottom you can see what the Google Display Network click-through rate is. So just taking e-commerce here, you can see for e-commerce the search click-through rate is 1.66%, um, and display is 0.45%. So if you're in e-commerce, that might be where you want to start. See, you know what your competitor average click-through rate is, and you really want to be above that. So if we look over here. Um, this is dating and personal, so 3.40% on the search network, 0.52% on the display network. So you want to be above that. The whole goal is to have a better click-through rate than your competitors because Google views that and they're going to give you a better quality score. So that's really how that works. So next we're going to look at Facebook advertising benchmarks. Again, pull this from wordstream.com. You can see the URL up here if you want to um, if you want to go directly to the article and see more about it. But um, you know, 0.9%, 0.91% is about the average click-through rate on Facebook. And again, you could look at the different industries here. Um, so if you're in travel and hospitality, it looks like it's about zero, about the average 0.9%. Uh, whereas if you're in legal, it's very high at 1.61%. So on Facebook, you, you want to have a higher click-through rate because it helps with your relevancy score. Um, and I'll show you kind of a graph later where you can see really the impact that click-through rate has on your quality scores in Google Ads and on your relevant scores in Facebook Ads. And if you're not familiar with what quality score and relevant scores are, it's basically the way that Google is looking at your ads and they're taking in all the data of, you know, this is what this ad looks like, this is the landing page, this is the audience it's going to, this is the ad copy, and, you know, the image that you're using, you know, whether it's a video image, anything like that, they're gonna look at all those different factors and basically give you a score and you're, you're going up against competitors. So if you have the best you know, landing page in legal, if you're targeting the perfect audience, if you have a great ad that people are responding to, then your relevancy score is gonna to continue to increase and increase. So for my click-through rate goals, this is generally kind of a minimum for, at least for search and Facebook ads. So for Google Display, I don't focus on click-through rate really that much. I really just focus on my conversion rate on Google Display because it can really vary. Um, sometimes if you're seeing good results and you have a 1% click-through rate, that really doesn't matter. I think I just try to look for you know 0.35% to 0.55% because it's showing you know, people are seeing your ad and interacting with it. If you're above the 0.35%, that means you're above average, which generally helps with your quality scores on display network as well. So Facebook ads, same thing. I want to be above average, uh, at least 1%. If you can get this as high as possible, you'll see how important it is, you know, to get your click-through rate up. Google search, I've had clients with click-through rates above 12%, um, and then I've seen larger accounts with click-through rates right around 3, 3.5% that perform very well. So it really depends on what you're targeting, you know, what your keywords are. Ultimately, what you want to do is let your quality scores guide you. So if you're seeing, hey, here's a set of 10 keywords where I have lower quality scores, 
here's a set of 10 keywords where I have, you know, quality score of eight or above. What you want to do is try to optimize for those lower quality scores and then, you know, see if there's any opportunities with some of those higher quality scores, make sure that your conversions are matching that. So uh, coming down a couple more things. So this here is another graph from WordStream that shows the impact your click-through rate has on quality score and kind of really the, you know, how they kind of meld together. So you can see here a higher click-through rate generally means a higher quality score. So you really want to be kind of above this red line in this area here because it's showing, hey, if you're above eight, I mean, my goals is generally, so I looked at 7% or at seven for a quality score and 3% here. So 3% is about here up to seven. So that's fine right here. Uh, what you want to be is really in a high quality score, high click through rate. So you want to be above this line, but um, you know, ultimately if you're a little bit below the line and you're still driving great results, it might it might present an area of opportunity for you where you can say, okay, you know, if I improve my quality scores a little bit, I can probably improve my click-through rates a little bit and therefore lower my costs. The whole point of increasing your click-through rate is because it tells Google, it tells Facebook, hey, this is a relevant campaign, it's organized, and it, it will help lower your costs over time because Google wants to deliver the best results for you. They want to deliver the best results for people who are searching um, because that helps Google. So if we keep going down here, we're going to look at Facebook ads. Um, you can see here, so a relevant score of one has a very high cost per click. And you could just see a huge drop all the way down to two uh, for cost per click. And it continues go to go down. And it's showing if you have a relevant score of 10, which is it's pretty hard to do, you're going to have a very high, it means you generally have a very high click-through rate, almost 8%, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, and you're going to have a very low cost per click because... Facebook is going to deliver on a CPM basis. So if you have a higher click-through rate and you're getting more clicks, they're not charging you for each individual click. You're just getting charged for that impression. So on Facebook, you want to drive as many clicks as possible um, because it's it's ultimately going to help your relevance score. I try to get around this area for Facebook, so 7, 8, 9. Um, 10 is pretty hard to do. You have to really, really optimize everything for it and have you know a lot of testing to get all the way up to 10. Um, but really... Six is kind of the lowest I like to see. If I start seeing it lower, I, t I try to really test different ad images out, test different targeting out, maybe try different landing pages, or I'll try to you know improve landing pages and things like that. So you can see the source down here at espresso.com. You can find a little bit more about relevant score and how it impacts your click-through rate. So this is going to be last but not least. So kind of already said that a higher click-through rate generally means lower cost per click because on Google, a higher click-through rate will give you a better quality score which gives you a better ad rank, which will lower your cost per click. So we have a whole tutorial about what is quality score, how to optimize for it. So you definitely want to check that out on our channel. Um, and Facebook is the same exact way. So it's, you know, increase your relevancy score, lower your cost per click, increase your click through rate is going to increase your relevancy score. So you want to continue to increase that click through rate because, you know, like I said, on Facebook, they charge on a CPM basis. So you know, if you have a thousand impressions, you really just want as many clicks as possible because you're not being charged for each individual click, you're being charged for each impression. Um, and, you know, just to kind of finish it out, the most important thing is conversion rate. So I'd rather have a high conversion rate and an average click-through rate than a low conversion rate and a great click-through rate. So ultimately what you're trying to do is drive leads and sales. And that's really where your goal is. But click-through rate plays such an important part in your costs that your cost per conversion is really going to be impacted by your click-through rate. If you have a really bad click-through rate and your quality scores stink, then you know your your cost per conversion is going to increase, even if your conversion rate is strong. So ultimately, what, what you want to do is make sure you have organized campaigns, relevant targeting, high quality scores, high relevancy scores, and everything else should fall into place and follow with it. Um, the main issue I see sometimes is you know, advertisers not optimizing for conversions. So in that case, it's, you really need to optimize for conversions no matter where you're advertising. It's the most important thing you need to do. Um, but I either see advertisers not optimizing for conversions or they're optimizing so much for click-through rate that they don't realize that a simple landing page tweak here and there, you know, testing different landing pages, maybe testing new ad formats, new ads, is really gonna help with that overall conversion rate as well. So both of these play with each other your click-through rate, your cost, your conversion rate, they all have an impact on your overall campaign. And you just want to continue to keep your campaign, you know, as organized and relevant as possible. You want to make sure that your website is set up for a great user experience on desktop, on mobile. And that's what's really going to help you kind of stand out from the pack. So if you're wondering what a good click-through rate is, you really just kind of want to look at some of these benchmarks that we have up here. 
Um, this is really where I like to look at what my click-through rate is. If I'm below any of these, I'll really, you know, take time on Google search to add negative keywords, take time on Facebook ads to add new ad formats, new ads, uh, maybe change the ad copy around a little bit. So um, just continue to optimize these things. I'm going to have a new video coming out that's geared solely towards increasing your click-through rate, and I'm going to break it down by the different networks, um, really for Google search and Facebook ads. So all the different things you can test, all the different things you can try to do, and that can help increase your click-through rate and hopefully improve your campaign. So if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. Um, thank you for watching our video today, and make sure you subscribe to our channel.